Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. Today is more closer to fabrication than engineering, but it's all kind of the same thing. These are the engine cases that we intend to use, the ones that have been fully machined. We've popped these into the frame this morning to make sure that all of the holes that go through the frame plates there line up properly. Because on the engine, dummy engine that we gave to, to raw steel choppers, these were all drilled and marked by hand, by eye and drilled, and so were these. So, so there's a fair chance that they may not line up exactly. And the best time to, to put a drill through and just uh, open up the, the hole in the plate if we need to, or a, a light file is now when this is quite light. When the engine's completely assembled and that tall in the frame, you're going to see um, it's, it's be a bit more of a hassle to get that done. Uh, meanwhile, you may have noticed a beautiful pair of shoes there owned by my right. beautiful assistant Eagle, who's taking the head off the spare engine because we want to get the rings off this head. They may be better than the rings on the other head. Uh, we've made a tool in the shed. I'll just teleport over there and show you that. Here we go, teleports to the shed. Always makes me a little bit out of breath, that. So these are the rings out of the head that we've got, and they're okay, but there's just a little bit of surface rust on them. We've had them soaking in paraffin. We've cleaned them up a little bit. Um, but they're still not maybe 100%. So the rings in the other head may be better. They will get fitted in here. And then when the head goes into the barrel, the rings will need to be compressed and the head pushed into the barrel, into the sleeve. And there's a small gap between the sleeve and the top of the cylinder. So in order to combat that, we need a special tool. And this exhibit C is that tool. So that goes around, we can use it for the piston and we can use it for the head. Goes around the head. When we tighten that bolt, it compresses the rings in the head. That fits just inside the um, cylinder, or it will do when it's compressed. So, so that gives us the lead into the top of the sleeve. Apologies, not filming this very well today, am I? That gives us the lead into the top of the sleeve and hopefully we'll be able to assemble the whole thing now. Um, anyway, that's where we're at. Not particularly exciting today, but all these things need to be done and uh, not everything's a glamorous machining operation. Anyway, thank you for watching as usual. More updates will follow.